In this video, we're going to begin our look at some of the more advanced routing techniques of the modulation and carrier sources within the FL Studio environment. In the previous videos, we looked at using the internal synth of Vocodex to apply the effect to the source audio of the channel that the vocoder was inserted into. And while this may often be all you need, sometimes you may want to use an external audio source as your carrier instead of the internal synth. In FL Studio, this can be done by inserting Vocodex onto a channel that has your desired carrier source, and then sending the modulation source via sidechain from a channel in FL Studio to the vocoder. In this first step, however, we're going to use the internal synth of the vocoder as a carrier, but we're going to use audio from another channel as a source of the modulation. To set this up, you'll need to have a channel in FL Studio to be sent to an insert on the FL Studio mixer. In the example, I have my vocal sample being sent to insert 1. Be sure to rename the channel to something easy to recognize. In my example, I name the insert channel vocal. This will make it easier later on when we are selecting our sidechain channels. On insert 2, I'm going to insert the Vocodex plugin. I'm also going to rename this channel Vocodex Synth as well as changing its icon, making it easier to locate in the mixer. Of course, you do not have to use the insert 2. You can follow these steps for any insert channel on the mixer. Now to send the vocal sample to the vocoder channel. While the vocal channel is selected, right click on the send icon from the vocoder channel and select sidechain to this track. The audio is being sent via sidechain to the vocodex channel. Now bring back up the vocodex interface. We need to set up the modulator and carrier sources. Right click on the modulator input menu and select the channel name where your vocal sample resides. Now when you play back your sample, you should see the modulator volume indicate that Vocodex is receiving the audio. Now this will result in both channels playing back the same audio. In this example, I only want to hear the affected vocal from Vocodex and not the dry or unaffected source. If you do wish to mix the two together, you can do so in Vocodex itself. So I'm going to have my vocal channel stop sending to the master channel by selecting the vocal channel and then bringing the two master knob down to zero. Okay, so now we have the audio routed from one channel to the Vocodex via sidechain. Now, as covered in earlier videos, I'm going to set up Vocodex internal sense to modulate the audio coming from my vocal channel.